Morija Kitenge Banza, welcome. It's so nice to have this opportunity to talk to you about your work and thank you so much for participating in Relations, Diaspora and Painting. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here with you. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy because I like when people ask me the question about my work and I like to speak about my work. And whatever, I don't speak English very well. I will try to speak uh, in English and sometime in French. <laughs> but I'm so here and uh, to, to talk about my work and uh, to explain how it's, um, how it's starting and uh, Great. How I understand my work. Well, I first knew about you as a cultural worker back when you were at Articule. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, which, which in my opinion is one of the most incredible art spaces like yeah. anywhere, um, not only for its programming, but for its ethos. Uh, I think it's one of the most important organizations for looking at um, and examining critically uh, the way things are in the artistic milieu and the way they should be. Um, if we're really to talk about intersectional equity uh, mm -hmm. for all. But then afterwards, I started to become familiar with your multi multidisciplinary art practice, starting with your show at Joyce Yahuda in 2015 that yeah. coincided with the foundation's invitation to have you conceive of an artist workshop as part of our exhibition with Yinka Shonabare CBE. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long time. Yes, it's a long time, but I, I think so. Art for uh, my life here in Montreal, uh, like an artist, and uh, so cultural worker, I think so. Article is um, is the point of the these many things because um, when I came in Montreal, I was before to come in Montreal, I was living in France. When I finished my study in fine art school, <clears throat> it was very difficult for me to find exhibition. And I, I was not thinking to come, live, to come here, to live here. That's why I, I decided to go again to study, but to study for cultural, politic and cultural development, for to work like a cultural worker. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, it was very, it's, you know, it, it was like just, if maybe one day I'm not artist, I can have a job in a cultural institution. And when I came in Montreal, because I have this, um, I, I call it face B because my face A is uh, my visual artist, artistic work, and my face B is a cultural worker. And because of that, I wasn't, I'm going, I, wa I was in article with um, the program from the Conseil des Arts de Montréal. And in article, I'm, I meet Joyce Yahuda for, and I, I become an artist for in the, this gallery and his gallery. And in article, I meet you and I'm doing the project with you. And since article, you know, until today, it's like, for me, it's like, um, yes, I think so. It's like the point mm -hmm. of my artwork in Montreal. And it was really important work and you, you're continuing to do that important work as a cultural worker and channeling it also through your, through your artistic practice. So I, I would like to hear about the early years. I want to know about your early memories, ton, ton enfance, you know, talk a little bit about your childhood in regards to art. And at what point did you know you were an artist or that you wanted to become an artist? Hmm. You have a story about that. maybe you know, maybe we can call my mom. I can tell you. <laughs> but you know, first I'm um, I'm the first child of um, nine children in my family. I'm the first, <clears throat> and um, I, I don't really like to say in Africa. I will say in Congo, in particular in my um, in my family. Oh, maybe in many family in Congo, when you are the first, people have um, hope about you because you, you need to have a good job, you need to study. Like my, my parent was say, you are the head of train. You are the head of train, you need to study, you need uh, to be example, you need to be, it's like, you need to be straight, you need to be, everything needs to be good because you give example to your sister and your brother. And um, 
was I was love um, cinema, but in Congo in this time, I think so until now, we don't have a um, cinema school. But my dream was to have a cine- to, to study c- cinema because when I was watching movie on TV, it was, it was just um, the movie, if it's not from America, if, if it's from uh, Europe, you don't see black people. <clears throat> And if it's from America, you see black people, but for me, there was not the same like me. The story was different. And I was say every time I need to tell a story about my country, about my, 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 it's my country story. And that's why I was love cinema. But unfortunately, we don't have a cinema school. And I was not like to uh, mathematics. I was like science i was love i was like politics because i'm from the family whereas my parents and my mom the both was in the um, opposition uh, with the dictator mobutu in this time i was in the par- um, opposition party and um, i think so my parents uh, teach me or give me the education for to be maybe if they don't tell but to be in the politician and but it was like, and one day I ask, I tell them, uh, I need to go to the fine art school. And for them, it was like, yes, if you need, you, you, you need to do a fine art school, we're going to help you because it's your choice. And I think so my parents uh, accept that because in my f- father family, I have an uncle, he's a painter, and uh, my father was also work for an um, artist before, when he was a student. And in my mother's family, I have uh, many uncles doing music and theater. And for them, it was like, we cannot say, we, can, we can don't say no, because he have uh, many examples in the family, but also, my uncle, the painter, was, yes, he was very poor. And for many people around of my family, it was, no, we can accept Morija going to study fine art school because it, it's going to become like his uncle. And Morija is the first. He needs to have a good job. He needs to have money. He needs to have, for to help the sister and the brother and for the retirement of the parent. Because in Africa, it's like that. You, need, you, you work, and when your parents become very old, you help them with money, with many things. And my mom tell me this year, <clears throat> when I send her the, um, the information, when I, 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 I have the Sobi price, to say, thank you, mom and dad, for everything you give me. And she, she, she tell me, oh, I need to call this doctor was our neighbor because when we tell her you like to go into fine art school she tell us oh you need to go with morija to see the priest maybe she have um, the demon why she came thinking to go to fine art school and they are they, they was very very proud to see my you know my life until today i was like to be an artist and they helped me to be an artist. And now it's like example because every, every uh, nephew or niece, they say, oh, I need to be like uh, Uncle Morija. I need to be like Uncle Morija. I think so. I'm, I'm very mm-hmm. lucky. I'm very lucky mm-hmm. because my parents, you know, they give me the, this opportunity. I, I'm, not, I'm not coming from the family very rich. I'm coming the we can middle class of family, and uh, I think and my for my parents it was very important to help every kid to um, to success with his dream. Mm-hmm. If it's your dream, we're gonna help you, and I, I think so. Yes, they they do a good job. No, I'm I'm still an artist. <laughs> yeah, and it's re- what's really interesting is given the sort of the the political or political science background of your parents, um, that there there is also uh, like an artist um, background within your family, within your immediate family as well. 
it's a, it, it actually makes a lot of sense. And also when, you know, when we talk more about your work and the kinds of thematics and um, areas of exploration, it actually makes a lot of sense that the, they, they did inform you and infuse you um, with a sense of how to work in a politicized way as an artist. And so we'll get to that in, in a moment, but that's so interesting. Um, so you earned a degree at uh, the Académie des Beaux-Arts in Kinshasa. Yes, yes. What were the themes and interests that informed your work at that time? And what, what kind of work were you making then? You know, it's like, um, <laughs> for the joke, sometimes when I, I'm, I'm looking at the painting of many artists in Montreal, and it, it, it misses me because my work, my Painting is changing now. It's not the same when I, like when I was in the uh, Academy de Beaux-Arts of Kinshasa. Because in Academy de Beaux-Arts of Kinshasa, we um, we doing like to the, we we copy the master, every European master, and it was very tricky because when we was at school, we see every painting, European painting, just on book. I never saw mm -hmm. painting really, really before I came in Europe. And starting to first degree of um, my school until in the end, it's just in the end when you finish uh, last, um, la dernière année, la dernière année scolaire. Your last year of school. Yeah. Yeah. My last year of school. This is the only time the, the teacher give you the possibility to doing your painting like you like your own uh, wow. painting but every time you study you need to do just the copy of the master we're doing the impressionism we're doing every time uh, we're doing uh, romantism we're doing realism we're doing uh, cubism you need to be better when your teacher would show you that you he tell you oh it's not like the Picasso, oh it's not like the Titian, you need to work about the um, what do you say draperie in English? You have to work on the the drapery, the textiles, the material, the flow yeah, of the fabric. Yeah, exactly the fabric. You need to be you need to be the perfect when you're doing that. The light. The, the, that was my school. That was, I, I studied this school um, in the university three years, and I'm starting in, here in Quebec, you say Cégep. Mm -hmm. yes, it's like a secondaire at, at Congo, um, because I'm starting Académie de Beaux-Arts at secondaire, like a Cégep at, at, at secondaire. And um, here, I, 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 I'm doing four years in secondaire and three years in, yes, in university. And every time I was just to doing copy, I was doing copy. I was, uh, you know, I have I have a best friend uh, still live in the Congo. If they make La Joconde for you, you're gonna think it's the real La Joconde, the real Joconde, because they do like you know. I'm, I I lost this because uh, my teacher was say, if you need if you need to have to be better every day, you need to do the same, you know. Right. The same movement, the same thing, the same thing. But now, when I go into France, the French people they, you know, they disturb my head. <laughs> like I say, now I'm coming the multi multidisciplinary artist. But I don't regret the um, the formation I have in Kinshasa because today I'm just free to to play with everything. Because the formation the um, the, the formation I have in Kinshasa just give me the basic of i think so for me to be an artist you know the basic because i was a painter the basic to do drawing the basic for about light when you're painting uh, everything they give they give me the good the good formation for me that I, 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 I don't regret that i'm very very happy and uh, i have a many teacher you know when i call them i say oh thank you for your class thank you because for me was and to in, until today i use that in my work but i use that differently and um i was i was looking my painting i think so na next um last last week because because i was speaking with someone about my painting if you look my painting and 
maybe I will, I, I will send you the image. You, you can see that. And if you look this first painting, you're going to say, oh, it's totally different. It's not, it, it's not me. It's totally, totally different. But I'm so happy about that. Mm -hmm. No, I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a journey, right? And, uh, and so, so you have that experience and then you decide to go to L'Ecole Supérieure des, Beaux, uh, des Beaux-Arts de Nantes. Nantes, yes. Of, first, I was... Okay, I, I will explain you. When I finish my CEGEP, I will, say, I will say CEGEP and people can understand here. When I finish my CEGEP, I was say I need to go to Europe to study cinema. And my, my okay. family say, nobody in family uh, gonna uh, va partir, gonna... Um, no one's gonna leave? Yeah, yeah. no one gonna leave the, the Kinshasa until he have the university diploma. Yes. Because Europe is not good, you don't need to go to Europe. And I was like, no, I need to go to Europe, blah, blah, blah. And my parents said, no, then you are gonna stay here. Uh -huh. Your parents, you are go, you are leaving. And I was, I have one of my cousins, is uh, a um, lawyer. And he was in the um, he was in the U in U in USA because he was fighting with a dictat uh, dictator before, and when the regime changing, is he come back in Kinshasa, and one day he come at home and he tell me, oh, they tell me you are uh, you are artist now, I say yes, I just finished my session. He said, oh, they tell me you are very good. I need painting for my office. How much? And I said, you know, just for kidding, I said, 30 thirty dollars. He said, okay, I will give you thirty dollars. You know, for me in the nineteen sixty, in Kinshasa to have thirty dollar. No, nineteen um nineteen eight. Yes, nineteen and to have thirty dollar for you. It was like nineteen ninety eight, right. Mm -hmm. It was like mm -hmm. I'm I'm rich and I'm doing the first painting. And when I go to give him the painting, he, he asked, he tell me, you need to come every month with one painting. I think so that was my first mesen. <laughs> Interesting. And I say, okay, if you give me $30 per month, oh, I can pay my own university. And if I'm going to university, it's okay because my parents are gonna tell me we pay for you the university and you go, to, you refuse to go to study. And that's why I pay my first class in the Academy de Beaux Arts of Kinshasa. Okay. Good for you. When, <laughs> and when the second war starting, because in Congo we have a first war when the dictator uh, go away. And the second war starting, yes, is a big, uh, a big stuff because we have a 10 million people dying about this war until today. And when the second war starting for me was like, and I it was the, the same time I finished my school in Academy de Beaux-Arts of Kinshasa. And I going to Lubumbashi to teach one year. And I was asking myself what I can, I can do because I, I, I was see the time it was very difficult. And uh, I was thinking to going to study in South Africa because First, for me to come here, in my head, it was live and die in Africa. I don't need to go outside of Africa. And that's why I was thinking to go to study in South Africa. But in South Africa, it was very difficult because uh, of it was, my parents would say it's very dangerous. Uh, Johannesburg is very dangerous. You, can, it's, you, know, you don't want to... You, you, you stay here. <laughs> Just to come back for to explain you how I came in the Nantes. It was because when, before to finish my Académie de Beaux-Arts, I going with uh, Consulat de, uh, Ambassade de France, mm -hmm. uh, French embassy. They give us invitation to go to France for the artistic residence. With, you know, French have many institutions in Europe. They do exchange with African, blah, blah, blah. And in 2002, I was in France for one month. And when I come back, for me, it was very interesting because I say, oh, the many things I see in France, yes, you know, Europe is not so bad. I was, maybe I can try to go in France for to study. But to have a visa, it was very difficult. And because of the second war, 
the consulate of French was finished his contract. And he sent me an email to say, hey, Marija, you tell me one day you, you will, if it's possible for you, you are, you're going to be happy to study in France. I can give you the visa, but not the, um, the money for to study. But if you need, I can help you to have a visa because this is my last year. I need to back. I say, oh, really? And my parent have, a, I ask my parent and they give him the condition. If you need to go to France, you need to go to, to the city where we have a friend. <laughs> that was the condition. And the city was Nantes. And that's why I came in Nantes in 2003. I come back in Nantes in 2003 to starting uh, my study in Académie des Beaux-Arts. <laughs> oh, in the École des Beaux-Arts de Nantes. École des Beaux-Arts de Nantes. And that was my first time to be black. <laughs> right. We've talked about this before. It's like, I didn't, yeah, it's like, okay, when it was when I left Africa, then I understood I was black. <laughs> yes, I understand I was black because I was the only black in the school. Mm -hmm. So the last black they see, there was, the teacher was telling me, oh, we have a black one man, maybe 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Wow. I said, oh, okay. But the teacher was very good. I have a, a few problems with, maybe I think so, one teacher, but I was, you know, I have a, the teacher was very good and um, the administration really, really helped me before when I came in. And I still have a um, good relation with many people of administration in that school and uh, with my teacher, with, you no, know, it was a good experience. You know, it's, the first year was very hard because, like I was saying, I'm not from from the poor family. You know, I'm from the middle class. We are we are not rich, but it's okay for us. And you know, sometimes it was just seeing people ask you the the question. You say, "Why are you asking me this question?" Right, right. About that, but it teach me a lot to to be a student in France. Mm. I want to know how your work changed. You know, from studying academic painting to, um, you know, coming to Nantes and, and what that must have been like. Like, how did that affect your work? First, when I, when I, I, I arrived in the Ecole des Beaux-Arts de Nantes, Ecole des Beaux-Arts de Nantes, it was the, the how do you say, would you say that? The art contemporain, like, you know, it's a contemporary school. You don't do drawing. You don't doing painting, uh, you're doing just installation, video, and uh, performance. Every student, you know, first I was in the uh, first, uh, premier année, you yeah. know, first year. Mm -hmm. First year because they don't recognize my diploma. Okay. I restarting re really. And for me, it was like I was doing my painting because I was a painter, you know, I'm doing painting a long, long, long time. I have my canvas, my oil. And the first, I think so the three, the first three months, four months, we have, a, and um, it was very dif different because very interesting, but very different. You have a module, you have like the, the module, yeah. The module called writing. You have a module called um, like photo. You have a module called um, printing. You have a module and for one year, you need, you need to change you to going to the every module. Hmm. And for to doing your project, you need just to doing project with the module where you have, you, you are. You can just, you cannot, if you are in the writing to doing cinema, because you are not in the module cinema. But it was very, very interesting. And my, I think for the first three months or first four months, I was doing painting. And one day, I have one, uh, I, I forgot this name, it was handsome teacher, you know, something was doing with her like this. <laughs> it was very handsome, this guy. And he come to ask me, oh, and uh, Marija, it's very fine when you're doing painting, but why you not just left painting? And um, you can doing performance. I know in Africa, you have, um, you have a rhythm in body, you can doing performance. I say, oh, really? Okay. I don't know who will tell you in Africa we have, I think so for me, people, when people was tell me some about many things, in this time, I was not like, oh, I need to, to have a decolonization. And it, no, I was like, just, I used you to. just wanted to make art. 
Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was sometimes I was I I was having a bad discussion with my teacher because I was like, just say, are you just stupid? And there was like shock. Why you call me stupid? I said, because you tell me in Africa we have a rhythm in body. Who tell you that? You, you know, it was just for me like boom, boom. It was not like, oh, why you tell that? My, no, because I, for me, I was like, I don't have time. You know, I grew up in the family, very political. And I think so very earlier uh, when I was 15, my parent was going with me in the political campaign when people were speaking loud to say, we don't need dictator, you know. You know, I grew up like this. And for me, when I came in France, my work was changing a little bit because I was telling my teacher, I need, you need to take me, to give me time. I need time to understand your system. Then they was telling me which system. I say, yes, because your school, it's very different. It's for me the first time to live alone without my family in France. I know a little bit your system because I grew up, I was watching every TV, French TV, but I don't live in this system for me the first time. And I need to understand that. And a little bit, a little bit, my work was changing because I was for me to accept, oh, now I can doing this project in drawing. Now I can doing this project just in writing. Now I can doing this project just in the cinema. And I think so. Like in the video, it was the last medium I used before to left the school. I think so video was the last, really, really, really last medium I used. Every time I was still doing painting, but no, not again the big painting like I was doing first. I was doing series. And that's why I'm starting with Kiromansi to doing many series. Because for me it was like, and the series become, becoming too because of space. You know, in Congo, I have an atelier, a, a studio. It was like um, uh, I had me. What do you call it? I had me? In, like a one and a half, like a one bedroom apartment, maybe. Yes, exactly. That, one room apartment. Yeah. It was my studio at uh, my my studio, and um, when I came in France, I don't have a, I don't have a studio. I was living in a neuf mètres carrés. Or what do you call? It? Oh small. my gosh, nine square meters. That's quite really quite small. It's like a hundred square feet. Yeah, something like that. Well, that was the space I was living. Yeah, yeah. student. And my work changing first, I think so about the space. Mm -hmm. Because I was I was see if I made the series, it's possible for me to put on the um, in the valise or you say I forgot. Yeah, it. to pack it up, to put it in the suitcase. To pack on a suitcase and I can travel. Yes. And because because and for me too it was, I will not die in France. I'm just for my study, and that's why. And for my, je ne devenais pas amoureux. Why you say that? And for my love, I I I decide to not become in love in someone because in from my head I was like, I'm just. You're just, you're, you're just here. You're just passing through. <laughs> you're not staying forever. That's why my work too, it was changing a little bit. Yeah. With my, my teacher at school and a little bit, a little bit the time when I was understanding the, st the system of bad school, because I was saying, okay, now I, I think so painting, I know that I need to try another thing, but it was going a little bit with discussion with different teacher too, mm -hmm. because when I was doing the, the, the module, was, um, it was work, you have a project and you need to work with um, another student and you present them to the teacher. And it was very hard, the teacher. Sometimes the, the, the student was crying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like, for me, it was like, oh my gosh. But it was very, very hard. And my work is changing. It's not, it was not um, a big... It wasn't drastic. It not, was... Yeah. gradual slowly slowly i will take time to move something because i would say i don't need people colonize me again mm -hmm. i need to take my time i will respect everything school ask me because you know i from i'm from in africa you respect school you don't say oh i don't need that they say you're going left you're going left <laughs> going right you're going right and but i was speaking very friendly with my and many teachers. I was say, give me just a time mm -hmm. I need to understand something. I need to see how my work is gonna change. Give me just a, a little, a little time. 
And that's really, did, okay, now my question is, Que Romancy, the series, of which we have two in the show, uh, in Relation, um, you started in, in Nantes? Did you start the series in Nantes? Okay. Nantes, I started in my ninth metro carré. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more like 200 square feet, so it's not so, yeah. Que Romancy, for me, you know, because it was in the same, in this time for me was when I was living in France, I was, it was to discover people and to discover the country, to discover the system, to understand how it work. And like I tell you, I was a traveler. I was like, I don't, I don't need to stay here to live here. And if I don't need to stay here to live here, and I need to have a, to have, a, to still, I need to still to have a link with my culture. And why I was thinking about that? Because before me to come in France, I have a friend who was living in Europe, and every time when I was called the my different friend, I was say, "Oh, you are not again Congolese. Now you live in Europe. You become like an European. You are thinking like an European. You lost your identity. Blah 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 blah." And my, you know, he was my joking every time with my friend. And, and was, my friend was telling me, no, I'm still Congolese, I'm still... Uh. And one day, when I was speaking with my friend, he told me, say, hey, Morija, now you become like us. You are not Congolese again. I said, no, I still, I'm still in Congolese. He said, no, now you live in France. It, I think so now it's two years you live in France. You are not Congolese again. And that's why it was the first I decided every two years I need to come back in the Congo. I need to work a lot because I don't have money. I don't have a um, bourse. What do you call bourse in? A, um, yeah, like a grant or. A, I don't yeah. have a grant. I was. For me to pay my school, I was. I need to work. I was finished my school at four because I was teach, speaking with my teacher. They tell me, okay, you can finish your school at four, and I run. I have a thirty minutes to run, to take my bus. To, to going to work, to eat, because in at five, I'm starting my security job. Oh, I, was, wow. I was just 30 minutes to blah, 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 to eat and to starting my job. And for me, it was like everything I need to understand, everything. And Kiromancy, he was he starting the first work of Kiromancy, the, the title, it was not Kiromancy. It was Deambulation. I don't ah, know what it is. Deambulation. Deambulation is like, um, how do you say, like a wanderings. You, wanderings. Yeah. Because I was starting. The past. Every, Sorry. Exactly. Yes. Every day I go, at, I'm, I'm going at school, I'm going at work, I, I'm going, I'm come back at home. Every day at night when I come back at home, I was drawing my, what do you say, my. Your root. Yeah, my route. I was drawing. I was here. Okay, I was here. It was it. It was easy for me just to buy a you know to buy a map. But for me, it was like my my student uh, room mm -hmm. it become like Congo. And I was say okay, what I can doing? It become like Congo. It become like embassy because I was in this room. I was my Bible. My parent gave me. <laughs> I was my cross. My parent gave me. And I was a little, uh, the fabric my parents gave me. I said, okay, this object do, you know, it was mentally. I decide this object give me the possibility to say my room, it's Congo now. And when I'm going outside, I'm outside of Congo. I need every day to make my plan because I don't need to lost my route. I don't need to lost my, my road. Mm -hmm. I, but, you know, it was just mentally yeah. because I was. I know when I the place I was live, but it was give me the what do you say bien être. Yeah, it made you feel good. It just yeah. you know, yeah. gave you a sense of well being. Exactly, just for me, you know, for yeah. my, I was doing that. Maybe it was our therapy, but I wasn't know the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but mm -hmm. just for me, and I, I started doing this work, and the first one day uh, in my in the place i was working like a uh, security guard, guard i see the woman from i think so they from uh, um, algeria on Mar Mar morocco mm -hmm. and 
it was a, it's like the steel of the, um, the girl was writing on the in the hand hey, i was loved that i was oh my god i love this and a little bit for me was reminding me the line i was drawing yes of the ambulation of the and one day I don't know why I was, I think so I was watching the TV because I watch TV every time. I liked, I love TV. I watch TV every time. <laughs> and I see they were speaking about, oh yes, because I was, uh, early, when, when it's become midnight, the, the TV, they put this, the, 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 the show, people, you know, you can read your hand, we can give you your, your future. And I see some one lady was speaking about the chiromancy. Yes, the palmistry, reading your palm. Yeah. The palm, yes. And I was say, oh, it's very interesting because they say I was made rich. They say your palm, your palmistry is not the same like when you are a baby. Yeah. Because it's changed with the time, but it's still your palmistry. It's not the same with other people. And I was say, oh, okay, maybe my hand. It's like my map. And my line, this line, it's like my identity. Yes. I was reading that, and I make many research about this and uh, DNA. Mm -hmm. And I remember to starting the work about DNA, and I say, no, I like the line because the line is simple. And I remember when I was in the Academy de Bozar of Kinshasa, when we was a um, sketcher, uh, sketcher um, course. It was like our teacher was said, the line is very important. If you are, uh, if you're doing your line very fine, it's gonna be great for you. You're gonna be a, a, a good painter. You're gonna be a good drawing, blah, 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 blah. And every time it was like, I was think, thinking to say how with the line, I, I can make a story. How with the line, I can drawing the map, the land. I think so. It's just in 2011 when I was in the um, residence in uh, Dakar. That was the first time I doing the big kiromansi. What what, uh, is, what did, made you decide to go bigger? I mean, I th I think it's a really interesting progression, and it's very sort of psychic. It's like you really go deep inside, you know, through the hand, and then you know it kind of manifests itself in these many colored lines. Sometimes there's a bit, little bits of um, figures, you know, fig some, a little bit of figuration. Otherwise it's quite, um, I, you know, I, I kind of think of a psychedelic experience, you know, um, but um, yeah, so wh what made you decide to, I think the size going bigger even made it more psychedelic. I mean, what made you decide to go bigger? What gave me to be the, um, to go bigger? The first it was, when I was drawing like the small one, it was like, you know, it was like I, I'm on the Tight. table and uh, it was very intimate. Mm -hmm. And I say, I need to have the relation with body. I need to, um, to feel like I'm inside. I know it's very intimate. And I will tell you why I'm starting with by the first, I'm starting with the three hand of my hand. You know, I'm doing, actually, I'm doing another project with my grand, my grandfather, my grandpère. Mm -hmm. Yes, my grandfather, yeah. from, uh, the side of my mother, because he's a, um, I will, uh, you understand why? Because he's a chief of the village of my mother. Mm. And um, yesterday I was speaking with him, with him in video because I'm doing a, a movie with, with him and about the relation of, of different work. And he was speaking, teach me um, how it's very important. Everything he was telling me, nobody need to know that. Because if people know that, they can stall our power. Our, uh, not me, because I'm, I'm, like, I'm like a prince. It's a not, it's a, I know maybe oh, many Africans say that. No, it's not a joke. I'm really, 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 I can give you the proof. <laughs> it's, I'm like, like a little. And he was telling me, you don't need people know who you are because they, they can stall your identity. They can stall everything I give you. And for me to start with the three hand or the three line and to give something, it's like, again, a little bit like this, like 
you can see the thriller, but you can don't really, really see that because it's still like in the um, in the space and it creates another space. And the oh, oh I forgot how you know I'm not now I'm lost in it. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. <laughs> I was thinking about how you was asking me um, about the scale. Scale, yes, exactly, yes, and the scale it become bigger. So because I was th- I was looking to come back like a painter I was before. To to say, I like the series, but I need to have a relation with my body and the painting. But I need also to have the relation like I was before the painter. I'm you know I'm mm-hmm. a, my canvas, and the chiromancy. I was the first was in the paper, yeah. You know the uh, the paper, and one day I was invited to the um, the art. The, I I meet one architect in France. You know, he invite me to speak. He was very very nice, and um, he t- he tell me, oh, you know what? I'm do I'm painting too. I say, oh, well, I s- show me your painting, and when he showed me his painting, he was painting on my lar. Because he was using my law for to make a plane, too. Yeah, yeah. I was nice. oh, I use this paper. You see, you see, yes, I use this paper, but I buy this in the one fabric, blah blah blah. And I say, oh, I love that. It's very nice. I, I can give you one uh, roll, uh, un rouleau. What do you say, rouleau? Yeah, a roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give you uh, one roll. I say, oh, thank you. And for me, it makes sense because I always say, I need to make a plane. I need to drawing a It's a plan. Yeah. Plane. And this paper is gonna just really mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. The problem it was okay when I put that. How I can make like when I'm working on the canvas. It was very complicated. And one day I just decided to put on my my door, la porte, mm-hmm. yeah, door. Yep, you just hung it on your door. Yes, I just put on my door and I'm starting to painting that. Yeah. How Kiromos is starting the first size. And if you see, if you see my, you saw my first size, it's like a door. Because I was just putting on the door. And when I finished the painting, I cut the paper and yeah. up, I, I, I wrote it again, I'm drawing and I cut the paper again. That way I starting. And I think so like the size and the series, the, my, all my work is, cha- is changing. And uh, the, with the same time with the space I live. Mm-hmm. And for me, this, you know, the space, it's home, but the space is to the land for me too. Is how you, you, you live in, how your body live in the land. How, your, how you, um, who, who are you in, in the land, in this space? Yeah, yeah. Do you control this land? Mm-hmm. Some control, every, the, every, um, this question I have before when I was in the Congo, was come back again a little bit, a little bit, a little bit when I was doing Kiormancy, the first work when I was trying. And it's become like the research for my well-being, mon bien-être moi-même. Mm-hmm. So when I'm working with Kiormancy. And I will tell you something. When I finished doing, to doing Kiormancy, j'ai mal à la tête. I have, um, yeah, you have a headache. Yes, I have a headache. I, because... Every time I want, I'm looking the line, whereas it's, everything is a mantle. It's, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, uh, it's coming here, it's going here, and with, in my hand. And when I finish, I say, oh, I don't like it. And my, 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 my wife was telling me, every time you finish your chromosy, you tell me you don't like it. I say, yes, because I, when I saw that, it's like, oh, it's, it's the same. And after three days, I say, oh, I like it. It's not the same. Mm-mm. Tell me, yes, every time you're doing chiromancy, you tell me that. <laughs> it's part of your process now. But what's, what also I, I'm hearing too, and it just occurred to me now because I hear you talk about the, these chiromancy paintings as reflections on territory and how the territory marks you and how you mark the territory. How, in, in through all of your deambulation, in the world, you know, all of your, you know, sort of trajectories throughout, through time and space and place. And it makes me think of, you know, you, you, you can take the person, you can take the artist out of the Congo, but you can't take the Congo out of the artist. You know, it becomes so. Yeah, exactly. And 
for me, and uh, for, for me, Kiramansi is also, I was speaking with uh, Mojan, I was telling her, you know, I know um, we, we have a colonization, Belgium, no, Leopold coming with colonization, Belgium pick up the Congo, and now the Congo is the space where every country come, America, Canada also, France, uh, Germany, they come, they doing what they like, what they need. And for me, it's gonna still like this until I will die. I know that, I'm not dreaming because it's, gonna, it's, it's not gonna be easy to, to take again this land and to say, now you cannot come in here. Because every time one politician was thinking to do it, they kill him. Yeah. And um, for me, the curiosity or all of my work I'm doing, it's like it's the only space I have the power to decide how to drain my land. Mm. It's the only space I can decide. I can have this power to thinking, to dreaming what I can doing. Because in the reality, it's more difficult because the system, you know, the, we, we, when we call about the racism, everything, the system is, is more, and it's becoming more and more complex. And to doing that, you need to be Superman or I don't have the power. I don't know what power, like in, in, the, in the Black Panther. I don't know. It's very hard in the reality to do, to do something. You can do it a little bit. You can do it here, 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 a little bit. But it's gonna take more, more generation if people need to do to thinking how to take again this land. And for me, my work when I, I'm working about the curiosity, people can just see drawing a uh, line, the space. For me, I'm thinking how I can uh, designing differently the land where I'm from. And this land, I'm going. Ça part de moi. It's going to. Um, from me it's coming from inside yeah. coming from inside and i decide I, I decide every space i decide to put the space different i decide to go inside to put my identity to put the i um the the relation with many people because in the currency is also too you know in the old time was giving check the hand but now it's not possible again but for me it's also when i, I give you my hand your line with my line, it was mixed. And that was for to talking about how when you meet people, you changing too. It's okay. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not bad when you meet people. Our, um, you know, I say, I, say, I say every time when my ancestor meet the European, he was not at the restaurant. He was not at uh, Berg, at, at um, IGA or uh, Walmart. The grocery store, yeah. It's, it, if, if they meet in the restaurant, maybe was the relation was different. They, 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 they relation, it's now, it's, it's, it's starting bad because they came with, uh, with gun, with many things. And we need, this relation change us. I'm the part of this first meeting, this bad meeting. I'm the part of that. I can deny that. I can, I can still fighting with that. I can just to look for me. It's my opinion, my own, my own opinion. I can just look how I can deal with that, and how I can make this bad meeting become my power. And where the place I can play with that. When the place, you know, it's like. Sometimes people ask me, oh, you talk about Congo every time. I say, yes, because I'm, now I'm Canadian. I live here, but I'm not born here. And I'm born in Congo and I grew up in Congo. Everything about my relation with order was, uh, um, comment, was built. It was constructed or built, yes. Mm -hmm. Built in Congo. When um, the, black, the young black men in Montreal when I have a uh, 16 and in Montreal, the guy have a 16 like me, this guy was fighting like uh, with representation on TV, with uh, racism, with uh, the policeman. I was fighting with why South African people, 
they are suffering with uh, segregation. Why uh, Belgium give the um, gun to the, some guy to put war in my country? You know, mm -hmm. uh, my fighting was globally. And this young black man was living in Canada. For me, he was Canadian. He was not black man. And when many companies come in Congo from Canada to stall something, for me, it was like, when this Canadian coming? And everything for me was thinking, now it's different. I need again to deal with my new, my new identity. Because every time, again, I meet people, I meet the new land, this land can uh, become of the part of my identity. And the curiosity is also this changing about the land, this changing about the, my identity, this, this traveling I'm doing. Uh, that's why I say the curiosity, I will stop that the day I will die. <laughs> Because for me, it's like, I'm, I'm, I, I, it's not a finish. It's like I'm searching again. I'm looking, I'm going I'm going through, I'm going through, it's, it's changing every, and that's why I make, I, I like to call that the curiosity is like the, the title of the, 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 the show and curiosity one, two, three is the season. And in the curiosity one, two, three, four, you have the episode. It's like, it's like, that's why I construct this work. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's a fascinating body of work. Um, and you know, there are interesting intersections with the other work that you do in video and uh, drawing and installation, which I, I'm hoping we're going to talk about more when we, we, we speak again in another series. Um, but this has been incredibly enriching. I, I feel very privileged to have had the opportunity to, to learn so much about you, even though I've known you for so many years now. And, and now we're going to know a lot more, too. Thank you so much, Mangija. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I, I hope so. I don't speak a lot because when you ask me the question, I speak a lot. I speak a lot. I speak a lot. <laughs> That's what we're here for. I'm Thank so happy. Thank you again. I'm so really, really happy to be in the exhibition and uh, to be at a different artist. I like the, no, I li I like the work. And um, yes, for me, it's like this year, it's like big for me, uh, you know, to be a... Uh, I love you, you the, the work you're doing, like curator. And uh, that's why when you asked me to be in the exhibition for me, was like... Oh. <laughs> Thank But, you. Wow. Well, let's keep on also, doing stuff. And also, you are, yes, you are the first institution showing Kiromansi. No. I yeah. didn't know that. Okay. Wow. Wow. Well, I just, I, I find them absolutely you know, sensual as well as conceptually rich and I can, you know, look at them and, and I love discovering them, you know, yeah. as they well, come out. You can call me to ask me to show in Kiromancy. And uh, <laughs> it's like, it was like, oh. Because uh, along, uh, you know, the first work, people um, see me and doing my, uh, knowing like artists, it was the video. Yes. And every time people was asking me, oh, do you have a new video? I say, no, I'm a painter. You know, I'm not a videoist. I love video, but I'm still a painter. And right. for me, it's like too important to show this work too. Well, let's, uh, yes, keep on going, Mohija.